but we won't be performing there anytime soon. Um, all right. I realized also uh, while describing that last song, West of the Fields, that we wrote when I was 22, 23 years old, that um, so many of the early songs have absolute zero meaning. That those that do, I'm really proud of them. So I'm going to tell you what they're about. <laughs> One of the things that um, came out of doing old songs as olive branches to you all for standing here and enduring uh, our live rehearsal is that uh, I realized uh, the first night uh, that the old songs, I, I didn't feel the need to rhyme every line, which I've somehow felt for the last, um, I don't know, several records or so. And it was really epiphanal to realize as a writer uh, and a lyricist that um, the, 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 the the words don't have to rhyme uh, all the time. If you find one good one in the chorus uh, and you mean it, then all the rest of it can just be uh, my version of a narrative, which is usually pretty straightforward, but even to myself, often confusing. So this song uh, was written uh, about Lillian Hellman, who was uh, an early hero of mine. Peter dashed um, all of my romantic uh, uh, ideas about her as a writer uh, earlier this afternoon by telling me not as, okay, she was a great writer, but <laughs> Peter hates talking on the microphone. Bad enough, no, 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 no. Well, she said she can't uh, defend herself, but <laughs> anyway, I always love the idea of her riding on the train from New York to Boston, uh, and they have to stop, and she gets out to smoke because she's a smoker, like from probably from the cradle to the grave. Uh, you could tell it from looking at her face. And she was mad at me like Dashiell Hammett. And uh, I somehow concocted this idea of, of uh, her giving him a blowjob with a mouthful of snow. And, uh, uh, that's not even a song, by the way. This came years later. But I just thought that was a very romantic thing. That's who you are. I'm so sorry, I forgot. We have family here. <laughs> Uh, to Adora, who I know is here, and to the younger members of our family who are here. If you don't know that word yet, uh, <laughs> you don't watch the same TV shows that I do. <laughs> I didn't actually have a TV. I don't know what I said. I'm actually blushing now. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> but it doesn't show through the stage makeup. Thank God. Right, enough about that. This is, this is vaguely somehow about the late home.